Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Luna kidnaps Stuffy, no fin contact sets up hostage crisis? The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Steffi Forrester decided she just couldn't deal with all her frustration in the fate of the kiss concession. John Finn Finnegan was trying to do the right thing by coming clean, but Steffi criticized him on some position for Hope Logan's mistake. Since Steffi feels like Finn ignored her passions and warnings, she claimed on spending some time down. Some BMB suckers are upset about Steffi going off oil, but we'd say Steffi's decision is actually a setup for a wild story twist. For starters, Finn admitted he'd a bad feeling about this, so that alone should set off alarm bells. Steffi is about to walk into some drama, so Finn's suspicion formerly seems to be waking him to disquieting news. It makes no sense for Steffi to take off when Taylor Hayes just got back to Los Angeles. Steffi also plans to leave without her children, which is completely out of character. Of course, the biggest red flag is the fact that Steffi specifically advised Finn not to reach out to her. Steffi made it clear that she'd be in touch, so this no-contact script on Finn's end seems largely suspicious. Doesn't all this feel like a simulated way for Steffi to go missing without Finn or anyone differently realizing it at first? Danger may be brewing for Steffi, but it'll just feel like she's off pouting and figuring effects out. Now that we've all these new suggestions, it's a good time to readdress CDL's former enterprise about the forthcoming August 23rd occasion. That's when Steffi will catch commodity she wishes she could unsee, and we'd say Luna Nozawa may end up wishing Steffi could unsee it, too. Still, life doesn't work that way, so Luna may be forced to abduct Steffi and hold her hostage if she learns too important. Steffi may discover that Luna is the killer ever, so Luna might respond by tying her up and storing her in Poppy Nozawa's old apartment. That structure is set to be demolished, so Steffi's life could be at threat. Steffi may find herself hoping that Finn will ignore her orders and come looking for her ASAP. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Steffi may walk right into Luna's crooked web, so we'll bring you updates on all the mayhem and prognostications on how effects will turn out for Finn's woman. Two killers linked, could Poppy's clue expose more shame-faced parties? The bold and the beautiful spoilers and updates tease two killers could have been linked by Poppy Nozawa during her family's jailhouse visit. Lee Finnegan visited her in the August 19th occasion and Poppy defended her innocence, suggesting the real killer or killers were still out there. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Lee Finnegan had her dubieties about further than one killer Lee pondered whether Poppy authentically believed that further than one existent was involved, but Poppy couldn't confirm it for sure it was just a dubitation. Nonetheless, the emphasis Poppy placed on the proposition of two killers as opposed to one is noteworthy. This content was a major focus of Lee and Poppy's discussion, suggesting that Poppy might be onto commodity important, maybe indeed the smoking gun in the case. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, two killers linked, could Poppy's clue expose more shame-faced parties? Could it be that one person had a motive to target Tom Starr before another took out Paul Hollis Hollister? Given the surprising twist of Luna Nozawa kissing Bill Spencer and her decreasingly cunning jest. It's clear that commodity is amiss with her. B&B spoilers, the suspect list grows it's entirely possible that Luna was involved in the fates of both Tom and Hollis, but what if she's only responsible for one of their deaths? Suckers are still left in the dark about the true nature of Justin Barber's visit to Ayel Giardino on the night of Tom's performance. His jest was relatively suspicious, and he claimed he wouldn't miss it for anything, raising the question could he have played a part in setting Tom's woeful end in stir? Latterly, Luna might have come in to exclude Hollis and take the pack, which would accessibly allow her to jut the blame on Poppy. Of course, there are plenitude of other propositions to consider as the riddle unfolds. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, interesting twists and turns ahead observers are in for quite a lift as the riddle deepens, leaving them eager for what surprises lie ahead. While Poppy's innocence is clear, her capability to break the case is hindered by her imprisonment that's why she has enlisted Lee to uncover the verity and untangle the web of dishonesty. Will Lee sleuthing reveal a single malefactor or expose a brace behind the chaos? Could she also uncover Luna's part alongside another mysterious figure? According to forthcoming spoilers, Lee may find herself in pitfall if she's not watchful. Luna admits truth to Taylor, shocking opinion coming up? 
The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that the Nozawa women have a character, commodity that poor Bill Spencer has just set up out. His boo poppy Nozawa is in jail charged with killing two men, and his son Luna Nozawa just kissed him on the lips. E.W. Need I bleach after that? The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Luna Nawaza is amusement sicky Bill quailed as any stable man would do. What the heck is wrong with Luna? She claimed to be emotional after the big reveal that they aren't father and son, but still, there wasn't enough time for her to reuse anything well enough to justify kissing Bill. Bill has a thing for youngish women, but he doesn't have a thing for former relations. He told her several times, in the pater. Voice, not to do that again. She agreed, but her lips said else. The bold and the beautiful spoilers Luna admits truth to Taylor, shocking opinion coming up? Wise Bill offered to pay for some comforting and that explains why Taylor Hayes is suddenly back in city. Looking shorter, tawny, and youngish than ahead. Europe did prodigies for her. BMB spoilers, Taylor Hayes dives into Luna Nawaza's mind out of the blue, suckers saw Taylor observing on bridge in Monte Carlo and that was a huge red flag. Schlepping around in the backwoods, does that. Soon enough Taylor was back in LA pronouncing that she's ready to renew her practice. Who thinks Luna will be her coming case? Especially if Luna does commodity differently to make Bill worry about the woman who formerly was his son for like five days. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Bill Spencer pays for comforting. If Bill tells Taylor about the kiss, she'll no doubt suggest she see Luna in a professional capacity. With Poppy in jail, Luna will need someone to look in on her. And, since Luna is John Finn Finnegan's kinsman, he could also ask his fellow croaker. To check out the deceived youthful woman. Spoilers tease that soon Luna won't be suitable to repel remedy, with several people prompting her to talk out her confusion. Will we learn that Luna was the bone? Who killed Tom Starr and Paul Hollis Hollister? They were done in by Poppy's mints, and Luna unfortunately knows all about their powers. Tell us what you suppose is wrong with Luna BNB suckers. The bold and the beautiful spoilers document that Luna Nozawa's kiss opens an unanticipated doorway. Might she have outfitted the maternity test to make it appear as though she was Bill Spencer's son? It's also presumptive that Luna could have killed Tom Starr and Paul Hollis Hollister. This mind-bending proposition would bear the followership to learn significant details, and since it's day, that process would probably not be short. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, what would Luna Nozawa's motive or motives be? She achieved a lush life by putatively getting Bill's son through the maternity test her aunt administered. Engineering a false outgrowth would cut her off from Bill, or at least it would cut off her mama, Poppy Nozawa. BNB spoilers, Zend Forrester Dominguez incident creates vengeance play? Zend Forrester Dominguez believed he and Luna had chemistry. But he knew she was committed to his kinsman. RJ Forrester no way anticipated Luna to connect with Zend. But that ill-fated night at the Forrester manse, she led Luna to use her mama's so-called mints. Unless this presumed vengeance story goes indeed deeper, that's the origin of Luna's hunt for vengeance. She was outraged when learning that she accidentally took her mama's medicines rather of factual mints. The hallucinogenic state Luna entered into led her to the Forrester guest house, where Zend was living. He believed she was transferring him a clear signal and they connected, much to her shock the coming day and having to tell RJ. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, holding Poppy Nozawa accountable Luna told Bill that growing up was hard. She appeared to begrudge Poppy for keeping her father's maternity a secret. So, it's possible that Luna was so enraged by her mama's careless. That she decided to fake the maternity test as part of a bigger plan. The alternate step could have been the murders of Tom and Hollis. The wind-up would be to have Poppy condemned of the double murder and spend the remaining times of her life in jail. That would leave Bill alone originally. BNB spoilers, Luna Nozawa wants it all? Still, Luna doesn't intend to marry RJ, if all of the below are ultimately revealed. She wants Bill. Bill is an important and fat man. RJ might come that someday. But he also has siblings who'll partake the plutocrat and access at Forrester Creations. Luna may be aiming to be the Lady of Spencer's manse, with access to all that Poppy shortly gained.
However, Yamada's character would ultimately be revealed and locked or to a darker fate if this proves true. While this type of plot would be a significant stretch, it would also come one of the most veiled marvels in recent memory.